this video I will be showing you a very simple way to farm blood echoes in Bloodborne. Um, this is an early on farming method that I used to great effect as you will see that um, my level is over 50 now. And through this method you can gain about 12 to 14k um, blood echoes per run and it takes about six, six and a half minutes um, as you will see in this video. And I'll just kind of show you where you need to go. Um, as you can see, I still need like 20k to level now because I'm, I'm getting higher up. But this is a great way to um, level up early in the game and also a good way to farm Blood Echoes for things that you might want to buy like Kirk Hammer. Um, as you guys can see on my character, I'm using Bloodwig's Holy Blade. Um, there's a lot of things that you need to purchase with Blood Echoes in the beginning um, of the game. You know, there's the also several outfits that you may want to buy um, really just all around you need blood echoes in the beginning of the game and the bosses will become significantly easier if you if you choose to farm the blood echoes early on and you know kind of level yourself up and so we'll start at the cathedral ward as you see that I traveled here um, and I just kind of run through this door you don't actually need to kill these enemies but I just do anyway because in my opinion they're low-hanging fruit they're a very simple enemy t to kill, especially later on. As you can see, my my Ludwig's Holy Blade is plus six, so it does quite a bit of damage. Um, even though I'm kind of getting wrecked right here by these enemies, but yeah, really, really um, simple to kill. And these enemies are also very easy to parry. I don't really show it in this video, but they have one of the slowest attack animations in the game. I think they actually are probably the easiest enemy to parry in my opinion um, because they just have a really long wind up. But yeah, after you kill those three enemies you run back through here and keep in mind this is after you kill Vicar Amelia. That is key. As you saw in the beginning of the video that was the room that I was in um, because after you kill Vicar Amelia you'll see that these giants that I'm killing right now stop moving and they're in that sleeping animation which allows you to sneak up to them very easily and get the kill like I did. Um, when those enemies are awake it's they're actually one of the more annoying enemies to fight so it just makes this farm a lot easier and a lot more efficient. And then you'll move through this area and just kill off these enemies. You know I'm, I'm doing a horrible job of parrying so excuse my newbiness. And also, um, I have a pretty high divine. If you guys want to make this farm even more fruitful, I'd recommend raising your divine, um, or sorry, not your divine, your arcane. Um, I would recommend raising your arcane up to at least like 14 or 15, um, because as you see, I picked up a bloodstone shard. This is also a way that you can farm a lot of items while you are in the process of doing this, this um, blood echoes farm, because you might as well make it as fruitful as possible and really having a high divine is something worth having in general because throughout the game you will be able to um, you'll be able to pick up a lot of items off of enemies that you otherwise wouldn't um, there's enemies later on that drop like twin bone sh or yeah twin bloodstone shards and um, all sorts of goodies so this is also a good way to farm um, quicksilver bullets too as you'll see in the coming enemies that I'm gonna fight but um, also blood vials Similar to um, Dark Souls, you need these to heal, similar to the Estus, but unlike Dark Souls, when you sit at a bonfire, which in this game are the lanterns, you don't actually get your blood vials back, so you have to farm them um, and build up kind of like a reserve of them that will stay in your stash while you're in the Hunter's Dream. And so, um, it's always a good idea, I think, to pick up as many as you can. Um, and the same goes with the... Um, Quicksilver bullets because they allow you to parry enemies, and so you want to have a good reserve of those as well. Now, coming up here, there's two more giants. Again, if you wait till after Vicar Amelia, after that boss battle, these giants will be sleeping instead of moving around, so it makes them makes killing them much easier because you can basically kill them during the process of them getting up during their um, waking animation. 
Now this area right here, I wouldn't really actually recommend going in here because this enemy that I'm fighting right now has a potential to grab you. And if he does grab you, he will take two insight from you every single time. And as you can see, I don't really get a lot of souls out of this. Sorry, not souls, blood echoes. Um, I don't really get a lot of blood echoes out of this, so it's really not worth the risk. Because, um, not in this video, but earlier on when I was farming, I actually did. I had 15 insight, and I did have two taken away from me. So something to beware. That's up to you if you want to farm that or not. I would highly recommend not doing that. And so the idea is just kill these enemies. Um, really simple, and then you just kind of move up the stairs. And you're basically making a loop. You're going from the Cathedral Ward all the way back up to the boss battle, Vicar Amelia, where you fought Vicar Amelia. And then you're just using that lantern to go back to the Hunter's Dream so that you can come out and do this loop again. And so, fairly straightforward and um, fairly simple and not very time consuming, honestly. I've, I managed to gain about five or six levels in an hour and a half doing it this way and you know like I said it will get significantly harder to level as you play the game longer but even so you know 12 to 14 case blood echoes every six minutes you know you can't really you can't really um argue that that's that's just good payout in my opinion and yeah you gotta watch out for these cross enemies too they will inflict a status ailment on you if they are allowed to hit you too much, so you just gotta go ham. I don't know what weapons you guys are using, but as you can see, this longsword works great for this. And so here you are, yeah. Um, I'm at the end here, and so now I'm going to just go back to the Hunter's Dream and spend my Blood Echoes to level up. And you can use this for whatever you want. If you want to like upgrade a weapon, you know, like I said, you're gonna need Blood Echoes for a lot of things in this game, so you know, stock up on them while you can. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the video. You'll kind of see my level here in the end, but um, hope this guy, hope this helps you guys, especially the newer players, because I know, like, farming for Echoes is really, really hard in the beginning of the game because you're not very good, so this is something that hopefully will help you guys, but if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.